that guy in the white shirt is crew from our little dinner cruise boat who got off our ship to go over there to move that black pontoon boat on his own because those guys who parked there were told not to leave it there and they left it there. So he's just pushing it off. That's funny. Took matters into his own hands. I love it. Ooh, confrontation with the owner of the boat. Well, turns out that 65 year old man could really throw up. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got to talk about this Montgomery, Alabama riverfront brawl. Now, clips of this incident are going viral on the internet. Everyone's talking about it, making memes. People are loving this. And the story goes as such there was a white family who docked their black pontoon boat that we see right here. They docked it in a, in a place where they weren't supposed to dock it. And the dock worker, the guy, the black guy wearing the white shirt, was trying to move it out the way so that the ferry that actually works works at the dock that shows people around and gives people tours, he was trying to move their pontoon boat out of the way so that the ferry could park there where it's supposed to where it's supposed to dock. Which led to the confrontation that we saw in the intro, where one of the white family members started a fight with the dock worker, and then some more of the family members started jumping in. And then you had black people coming from the boat that had just docked. They came in and started fighting. It was just all out chaos up in there. Now, my wife told me about this yesterday, and she told me that there was a white family ganging up on a black employee at a dock. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, oh, no, this sounds like the race wars have started, you know. Um, but when I watched the video today, I don't see anything about this that inherently screams out, racist white supremacists white folks um these people the the white family and especially the 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 individuals who started who started the fighting and who started the altercation the ones who put hands on this black dude first they in the wrong 100 percent. there is no justification behind that you know i don't care if it's black on black mexican on i don't care what race it is you 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 throw a punch you throw the first punch you deserve to get hit and if you jump in, if you jump in somebody else, that's that's about the most one of the most cowardly things you could do. You know, when it's more than one of you and you want to jump on somebody else, there is no justifying that type of behavior. But in my opinion, I think these people were probably drunk, intoxicated, under the influence. I think they might have done this to whoever, you know, um, whoever was was trying to tell them to move their boat. I don't think him I don't think this dock worker being black is is the reason why cuz when you call this a racist white supremacist when you call them racist and white supremacist you're saying that they beat him up because he was black not because he was telling them to move their boat and that's two different things as you can see from this tweet here white privilege we finally got our hands on new video that outlines and shows what first took place last night that led up to the racial brawl that inspired suspected white supremacists to savagely attack and beat a black employee at the Riverfront Park in Montgomery, Alabama. This is another episode of I'm White and I Say So. Now, who suspected that they were white supremacists? What, where, is, where is that coming from? Is that coming from this guy, Sir Major? Is that just coming from Twitter? You know, how do we know that these are white supremacists? We don't, and we don't know that they beat up this guy because he was black. But that is the narrative that's being spun. And it's, it's people like this, it's posts like this, headlines like this, that this is what race baiting is. When you say that something is racist because there's a white, there's a white person or white people and black people involved. If a white person does something to a black person, it had to be because of the, 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 the racial element of it. It couldn't just be because, you know, they had issues with each other. You know, if, if a white person beats up a black person, that's automatically racist to a lot of people, you know, and I think the fact that so many people are are 
enjoying this and so many people think that this is a good thing and that this is, you know, um, a, a win for the black community or something like that. I think that speaks to the problem we have with the culture that we're so heavily invested into racial issues. But we about to get into this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we watching. Now let's roll it. That guy in the white shirt is crew from our little dinner cruise boat who got off our ship to go over there to move that black pontoon boat on his own because those guys who parked there were told not to leave it there and they left it there. So he's just pushing it off. That's funny. Took matters into his own hands. I love it. I hope the police give him a big old ticket. Ooh, confrontation with the owner of the boat. Tonight, police continue their investigation, reviewing video to figure out how it all went down. I visited the riverfront today to see how the community is taking it all, and some families are concerned. Multiple people jumping in and throwing punches in this brawl along the Montgomery Riverfront. Viewer video shows the fight playing out just feet from the Alabama River. With this being Montgomery and the birthplace of civil rights with a lot of his history, uh, it's unfortunate that we make news now for the wrong reasons. A witness claims the fight started because a pontoon boat was blocking the dock where a river boat was trying to park. Soon after, Montgomery police arrived arresting several people. They're combing through cell phone video and security footage in their investigation. Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed saying this was an unfortunate incident which never should have occurred. As our police department investigates these intolerable actions, we should not become desensitized to violence of any kind in our community. The scene was much calmer on Sunday. Montgomery resident William Green brought his daughter out along the riverfront. As a parent, he says he's concerned. I do have a 12 year old. I have to tell her how to conduct ourselves in uh, areas where there are a lot of people. Also keep her head on a swivel and be able to uh, determine what's going to happen in a situation so she can stay safe. The Montgomery Riverfront is a common place tourists go. The Anderson family is visiting from Florida in town to visit civil rights sites. They had not heard about this attack, but say they still feel safe because of Montgomery's police presence. I feel safe here in Montgomery. Uh, it's uh, everyone has been very friendly to us while we've been here. Despite the violence the riverfront saw the night before. Here, I think this is a, provides a good opportunity to look at the policies that allowed this thing to get out of control. Multiple arrest warrants have been issued and MPD says more will follow after reviewing additional video. We're going to keep you updated on this story. All right. So you guys saw that. Now, I didn't hear nothing in that news coverage that said race was one of the reasons why this fight started. I didn't hear the, the mayor of Montgomery say anything about race being one of the reasons why this fight started. He said that we shouldn't be desensitized to violence of any kind. And we also heard that people have gotten arrested. And I'm sure it ain't only just the white folks that got arrested. I'm sure black people got arrested too. Now, like I mentioned in the, in the in the intro to this video, it's cowardly to jump somebody. And the white family started the jumping. They started the 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 two on one, and then it became a three on one. They started all of that. But something else that that happened in this video, and I'm gonna leave it in the description because I can't play it for YouTube. But I saw I saw one of the white ladies being punched in the face by a dude. I saw a white lady getting hit in the head with a chair by a dude. That's also cowardly. I don't care what hap what's happening. Keep it man on man. Don't start beating up on, on women, beating up on ladies. 
You know, and it's it's elements to this that people don't want to talk about. People are are using this using this just to you know charge up the the race narrative, the ra- the the whole the race war thing. Like like this guy Tariq Nasheed says some suspect the white supremacists assaulted and jumped on a black security guard at a riverboat in Montgomery, Alabama, after he told them to move their boat. The black community pulled up and reminded the suspect the white supremacists that this wasn't the year 1963. Try that in a small town. Ha ha ha. So funny. Now, like I said, if you keeping it man on man, that's cool with me. But when I see women getting hit in the head with chairs and women being knocked out by by grown men, I can't condone that either. So it's, it's things about this that I don't like on from the white side and the black side. Obviously, the white the white people started it specifically, specifically the guy who threw the first punch and then the guy who, who jumped in to help his brother or whoever that was. But, you know, it's things that that we not that we not mentioning here. You know, this this reminds me of, you know, I've seen stuff like this in high school all the time. This this is literally high school for me. You know, every every other week it was it was a big brawl going on. Right. And, you know, you got one person, one person throws a punch. Now somebody throws something in, in into the into the crowd. Now you got people jumping in from all over the place fighting and it's just an all out brawl it's just all out chaos now i'm not trying to cover for you know this white family right but imagine if you see your brother your cousin whoever in a fight you know that's just how some people react some people react to you know go in and support or go to back up their their family you know it's not they're not going they're not going to fight fair you know when 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 a fight is actually happening you know, you have a you have a moment to think about what it is you're going to do. You either going to go help because you don't want to see your blood get beat up or you're going to sit back and watch or go call the police or do something. But one of the white guys started it. And then another white guy, uh, you know, family member came in and started beating up on the guy on the black guy. You know, and again, I can't condone it. I understand from a perspective of, you know, um, we don't fight fair. I'm going to you know, I'm going to help my blood out. I've seen that play out in person. I've seen that play out in real life. You know, that's not something that, you know, that that's not white supremacy because I've seen blacks do that. I've seen Mexicans do that. That's what happens in these type of scenarios. So the guy probably saw what was going on, turned around and said, forget about it. I'm about to go help my help my cousin, help my brother, whatever. And, you know, all it took was the first punch. And that's what led to everything. So from that moment on, it was on. It was all out war. Everybody who was watching when that boat docked. They saw the whole thing happen and you saw what happened. They got off that boat and then they started another conflict. So, you know, in my opinion, like I said, I don't know why we think that this is 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 a good thing. I don't know why we think this is a win. You know, people have been arrested. You know, you 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 just we all out here just looking like animals at this point. It ain't just the black people, it's the white people, but we all out here looking like Neanderthals fighting in a fighting on on the river walk. You know, I, I don't see nothing about this that's a win. Nothing. The moral of the story is the white guys who jumped the black guy were wrong. But the way we jump to conclusions and say that this has to be because of racism, because the guy was black, that's why he got beat up, calling them white supremacists. Like, what does white supremacist even mean anymore if we just we just throwing a word around whenever it's the altercation between a white person and a black person? These white dudes were probably drunk as a fish on that boat. I can't imagine you being in your right mind beating up somebody like this and jumping somebody like this, you know, being in your right mind. They were probably drunk, acting like idiots, you know. Um, so, like I said, they're in the wrong for doing that. But to say that this happened because the guy was black, we just don't have any proof of that. You know, this could have happened to somebody that was Indian, Mexican. This could have happened to a fellow white person. You know, we don't know. We, we absolutely do not know that this happened because he was black. But when you got people like this, you know, throwing the word white supremacist out, you know, that's why what does what does this word even mean? If an altercation happens between a white person or white people and black people, it's automatically racist because of the color of of the, 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 the two groups of people. And with narratives like this, we take away the ability to 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 use any logic or any reasoning when things like this happen. This is why whenever anything happens between a white person and a black person, we always automatically call it racism because you have people like this who just can't wait for moments like this to happen 
so they can push their race baiting agenda. So yeah, guys, I don't know if this happened because the guy was black. I don't think it happened because he was black. I think it happened because he told them to move their boat and they were probably drunk and they acted in probably the, the dumbest way possible. That's what I think, you know, but the way you respond to things also shows your character and that shows how it shows who you are and how you are, you know, and now it's I'm sure it's, it's black people involved in this that, that got themselves arrested you know, because they had to just go and get involved in the mix. And, you know, and, and man, the way people are reacting about this, it just shows you, man, we 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 put we invest way too much in a race in this country. We make things about race when they aren't even necessarily about race. But that's all I got for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe when you're at the door. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. And until next time, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.